Identifying your Auburn Gear Power Wheel unit can be as simple as finding the ID tag adhered to the ring gear or finding the stamped numbers on the cover. But what if your ID tag has worn off and stamped numbers are not visible even after removing paint? Our customer service representatives may ask you to take front, side, and rear images of your unit to help you determine what model you have, but you may also need to take apart your unit to find out more information. Here you can see the cover and internal components of this particular power wheel, including the primary sun gear, primary carrier, secondary carrier, and input shaft. First, mark a starting point on the primary sun gear and count the teeth. Then, mark a starting point on the top of one of the primary planet gears and count those teeth. Flip the primary carrier over, mark a starting point, and count the teeth of the secondary sun gear. Finally, mark a starting point on the secondary planet gear and count those teeth. If your unit has a break, it is necessary to determine the number of discs in the internal disc pack, as well as the number of internal and external springs. Remember to carefully remove the two brake assembly bolts, as the springs will force the cover off. Alternating between these two bolts during disassembly will eliminate the cover popping off. Once you can provide all this information, Auburn Gear will be able to help you determine the specific power wheel model you have. For more information on disassembly, see our service manuals under the repair section of auburngear.com.